Welcome to a new project. In this video, we're gonna try to understand how game modes work. Uh, game modes are very important because they configure the way uh, the game runs. Like, for example, if you're using a third person, first person, or like a combination, it's like uh, a profile. So, usually, you choose the game mode from project settings going to maps modes and in the default game mode you select it because we have two uh, ways in this project it's like we have the third person and we have a vehicle you can select them both and uh, this is a default but I'll showcase to you a bit later how you can override this and in many cases overwritten by default so we, we try to change it to a third person but you see you still use the vehicle so we're gonna tackle this a bit more now we can search for game mode those are like blueprints that come with the uh, third person vehicle assets you can see this like this one's the vehicle uh, game mode and off road those comes with the uh, chaos vehicle uh, template and there's another one for the third person that we added in, th in the previous videos uh, if you want to see how to add a third person to an already uh, uh, made template like the vehicle please check previous video so we change it here you see it changes because we change it in the word setting and this override the default setting so but we still have errors this is because the blueprint of the vehicle is still running in the background so it causes error errors We're gonna fix this soon so this is the second way of uh, changing game modes first as uh, you is in uh, project settings here and you can go to the second one is the vehicle uh, uh, game mode and this one will override the project settings as you can see it worked and you can tweak this or uh, like build one from scratch uh, the most important is the uh, pawn and the player controller I suggest we get them back to the way they were because we don't want to uh, like edit those blueprints we're gonna do it through other means but I'm showing you that there's more than one way to skin a cat uh, that method is a little bit more advanced you have you have to create a game mode from scratch and connect it to the project but uh, the best method uh, and the one that worked for me is to go to word settings and choose the game mode from here this is is the way to override the default and most templates actually use this method it seems so if you change it to vehicle but and change the point sorry to uh, a third person you see it will automatically change but in the future we want to possess like the vehicle vehicle or the character so we're gonna do it in more automatic way so i'm gonna describe to you in, in next videos how to leave this as aut automatic or none basically and do it via blueprints but not the vehicle game mode or the character game mode the default ones i just showed you before so you see here there's a third person and the pawn is third person and the, and the player controller class is player controller those uh, three are the most important ones to change that, for now at least you can see it works it's changed from the vehicle so you see it's working as uh, needed so again there's three ways uh, there's the first one is the project settings and as I showed you it can be uh, overwritten by the word settings and there's also these can be overwritten by the uh, game mode the blueprint files themselves so you have like three levels so now if wanna like possess the uh, the character we just selected in the outliner and uh, search for possess and auto possess player we have to select it to zero and this will essentially do the same thing it will allow you to auto possess the character rather than the vehicle see so 
still works so there's many ways so you have to like plan things uh, from the beginning you can change it always later on but uh, as we're gonna do an like position using the blueprints I suggest to keep it default and change the word settings to none and do it all through the controller blueprint I'm gonna showcase to you how to do it in later videos but this is just to understand how game modes work so just to recap uh, there's like three ways or more uh, to change the game modes the first one is the main one uh, is the project settings and this can be overwritten by the world settings and the world settings uh, it can be overwritten by the individual files like the vehicle adventure game mode you see at the top uh, tab so that's it for now uh, stay tuned for next video in the series please don't forget to like and subscribe this is very important so that i can make more videos it takes a lot of time for me to uh, fix issues uh, come up with the ideas uh, video record them and stuff and then edit i would really appreciate it thanks